Hello, welcome to the third video of the series where we animate effects. So later we can all compose into one great animation of the chest. Right now we are looking at the chest closed idle animation. It's pretty much finished. And today we will be animating the same, but for open chest. Here you can see uh, we have rays that are stretching, scaling, rotating. You see small circles that surround the box and uh, show up, fade in, fade out, one after the other. You can see one big glow, this one. I made sure to add a tag scale. I would also want to show you um, these four images, which are just cut out from the current box. And that's helping me to fade in and fade out them nicely, one after the other. And we have this small line, which is the same circle, just stretched along the edges. And I guess lastly, we have these uh, sparkles here. And yeah, so the same should be done on the open state. So for that, I will quickly duplicate or copy the same uh, glows and put them behind this box. Okay, I think I have them ready. You can disable alpha just to make sure you are working with only alpha channel. And on 50 frame, let's make them all visible. I'm going with this kind of uh, easing. Yeah, little bit adjustments. And now what you need to do is to offset them. But make sure when you offset them so they close the cycle. Otherwise, uh, the animation might not be continuous, uh, smooth flowing. Let me expand this. I'm enabling the filter. So whenever I select the mesh, it selects the slot. So I can see the row of the timeline here. So this would be my first one. Let's start from this four frames. Let's see what next we have. We had uh, this race at the top only. So whenever it goes up, we show that and push that up. So for that, I will do it from scratch, uh, just not duplicating. I will use this race right away. We'll convert them to additive, make them smaller. Add a bone for them. I mean, I'm keeping it simple. You can add several more bones and uh, mesh it. For now, I'm keeping it simple. Then making sure that this goes actually behind the box, the chest. And yeah, we are there. So next, let's see what animation we can do with that. It grows in the middle and then shrinks back.
is growing too much. And maybe it's going too fast. Now I will go ahead and copy a few of them. We had four there. Maybe we also can have four here. Let's also duplicate the animation keys. Distribute them. I think I will need a few more. Just to bring it also here. And last thing we need to do is just offset them, I guess. But before that, always remember to make sure you have a loopable cycle, which I should have checked before duplicating. I like it. Uh, one more thing I want to bring it here is uh, since it's already opened I will go and bring the rays that we already animated here but I don't want to merge it with this animation yet because it has 2000 frames mm, but I want to see how it looks so the preview window will help me with that we can go into setup mode play at zero frame Closed box glow and the second track I will play race. Now let's move them and see how it works. So I see it's too bright, it blinds <coughs> and burns the actual coins, which we don't like. <coughs> Uh, I think if we remove that glow, like move it behind the treasure, it, ac it actually can help us. So let's drag it back, back. Maybe I can change the color. And opacity. I'm changing the attachment color because it might be animated in the spine. So if it is animated, it will override. If I change the attachment color, it won't be overridden. So I can see my stars are working in perspective. I see that dust is coming out. Uh, I do see rays are spinning. Hmm. Something like this. Um, so we have this. We have the glow. Um, we miss that actual glow of the open chest, so it should light up, then go down, then light up back. Um, let's use this curve. So this is the moment when it should light up. I will offset it. Maybe a little bit later. Yeah, I like this. Um, let's add our sparkles. We need to make it sure it's zero scale down. And then we open it up. In 15 frames, we should uh, make sure it's back. So we open up in five frames quickly then move back starting slow and then fast uh, you can leave it like this without rotation it also can work but i love it with rotation so once we have done it we need to duplicate this timeline in the next frame, past it, make sure we break the interpolation here so we don't see that in between one frame jumping, sliding. And you can go ahead and copy actually uh, 
for the other portions. Maybe we can scale it. So now we just need to make sure every time where is the best place to put it. I would put it here. And next one I would put here. Maybe here. Make sure to the pass the translation also at the end. Actually, you can avoid this by just breaking all translations. Like this. Now I will move it here. And for this, let's move it on this gem. Let's continue it on the treasure again. Maybe here we put it on the sword handle. And yeah, this would be it. Let's check it. It is not that noticeable actually. Maybe we can scale everything. Maybe once in a while I can uh, make them even bigger. And some of them can be smaller. Just to give some variety. Great. Uh, so the other thing is this line that goes travels here. You can see here. Let's see where we want it. I would like to see it here because it's not that bright and it would be noticeable. Put it here. Align it. Let's make it open up faster and then go disappear. Fading in, fading out would help us a lot. I don't want to see this uh, line here, so maybe I can uh, stretch it a little bit later. Yes, it also happens here, mm, but not much noticeable, I guess. Yeah, so the moment it ends, we can break everything. And see where do we want another one. I would like here actually the curvy. I don't know if I can do it. If you are seeing it, most probably I did it and I like the result.
Mm. It's looking okay. Not super. I mean, I see that it's not curving. But I think I will leave it here. Uh, so the other thing, I will separate this also into pieces. So we, we can make it glow as we did here. For that, I will select them. Do I want the uh, treasure also to shine? Maybe I will take them separately. Maybe. So for now, let's take the box only. Yeah. I'm making a new layer, merging them. I will copy this. Glow. Then duplicate maybe four times. Yeah. So we have four exactly the same chests. Mm, I actually forgot to also include the lock. So right away we can change it to linear dodge, which is additive in spine. Spine will automatically pick up, pick it up. And then let's, uh, this is okay now. So let's start from here. So basically we only want this to apply on the metal part. So this won't be useful for us. And the last one would be the, the right edge. Let's check it out. First, second, and this. Mm, note that maybe we can add another one. You know, this is a lot of section. I will duplicate this. Something like this. So I see we have some holes, some inaccuracies, but it's going to look okay. I'm pretty sure. Now, uh, just remember to add a scale value scale 0 0.3 so this all will be packed very small and i will export it right now so ignore hidden layers that means everything else will not be exported exporting this then let's grab it json and put it here Let's see if we have them. Mm -hmm. Here are they. I will move them up here, I guess. And then or maybe start from closed ones, open them nicely, and then close them back again. I will create a container for them and maybe put them all here. We can see, yeah, it is shining, like some something flowing through it. It's too bright, but I'm not a master in fixing colors. Maybe you can do better there. But I will try to reduce the opacity for a bit. I'm uh, reducing opacity of the attachment so they don't conflict. And let's double check where is our great. So this is the final, I think, of what we have. There are something that I don't like. Uh, treasure is uh, lost. Mm, let's see. I think we can move it up. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, you learned something. And if you have questions, go to the comment section. I will be glad to answer them. And the next video hopefully will be the last one and we will do that uh, chest transition from closed one and open one with the shaking and boom, exploding. Yeah. Let's see how things goes and yeah, see you in the next video. Bye.